Drag will take. Nice fish. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now go baby. Yeah, that's right, boys. You're next. Okay, so on this episode of Wicked Good Eats, we're going to do up some of that beautiful, beautiful striper bass uh, that you saw um, earlier in the video that uh, we uh, ended up catching off Black Island with uh, Captain Neil Vitullo, uh Neil Vitullo and the Vipers, or Young Neil and the Vipers, if you might remember them. So um, what we do is... I've cut these up into you know a nice good size portion of the fillet okay and the first thing you want to do I mean you work with fish this is beautiful fish that was just caught is um, you want to give it a good rinse cold water you don't want to use hot water you don't want to shock the fish okay so it's just that nice beautiful fillet that um, it caught Okay, now I'm going to put that in the plate. Okay, so we got our nice roll of aluminum foil. And just kind of use this. We'll be, re we'll be really dying for some, some striper. Okay, we'll be. <laughs> I hear you. And that kind of makes a nice little you know, container so that when you put it on the, the grill, it kind of has the shape of a pan already. Okay. And you always want to put your fish, this is the back side of the fish where the skin came off. We'll put that on for us, right there. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is just dress it with a little bit of sea salt. Okay, not a lot, because it is a fresh uh, salt water fish. A um, little bit of black pepper on top, which is always a staple to just about every meal. Okay, and do that. Then we have this beautiful salsa that we made. That's actually um, on another video. That um, how to make the salsa from the garden: the fresh uh, peppers, uh, tomatoes, onions, cilantro. Um, lime juice is in the air, a little bit of garlic. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just lay that up on top. You really don't need a lot because there's a lot of flavor in here. Plus with the cilantro and everything else in there. Oh. And as that cooks, that flavor is just going to kind of melt down into the fish. Salsa on there. I'll show you what that looks like from the top. Alright, so there's the fish with the salsa on it, all ready to go. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to do, you're going to get some nice olive oil and just drizzle it you don't need a lot just want to drizzle it along the top back and forth back and forth back and forth and that kind of helps the um, brings out the flavor of the fish and the salsa kind of incorporates it all together mm. olive oil. okay so now we have that all ready to go 
And you want to heat up your grill, get it nice and hot. And we'll go out, go out and show you what that looks like on the grill. Okay, so we're out here by the grill. We'll get that open. Got our nice fish. And you just want to kind of curl it up. You know, like such. Kind of pinch the ends. Just get it on the, on the grill. All you need. And most of that juice will cook off. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Cooking on there. I'm going to get it down to about a medium heat. So I get the grill nice and hot. I'll cover it up. And a good piece of fish that big, well, that's probably be about uh, 20 minutes. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. But fish cooks pretty quick. And that gives us some time for that flavor to seep in too. So we'll come back. Check this at about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes or so. Oh, yeah. See that? Stripe it. Nice striper bass. Cooking up nice. I got Wolfie's playing with the ball, ready for his first taste. Aren't you, Wolfie? Okay, so this beautiful striped bass is ready. Took about 35 minutes for a piece that thick to cook, so you just gauge it by thickness, and you know you could tell when the fish is done or not. But thinner piece, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, thicker piece, 30, 35 minutes, and it's ready to go. And we'll get Wolfie a taste. Okay, so you can see where I took the fish over here. And you can see how nice that fish cooked up, cooked all the way through. Break it up for Wolfie. See if he likes striped bass. Huh, Wolf? Okay. Come on. Oh, yeah. Wolf likes it. Don't you, Wolfie? Is that good? Oh, yeah, that's a winner. He's going for that pretty good. So there you have it. Beautiful striped bass topped with fresh salsa and a little bit of salt, pepper, and olive oil. Drizzled olive oil. Enjoy, everybody.